So in this case, we're not going to be identifying the domain. What we're going to do is we're going to be finding this value. So again, whenever you see g of f of x, that is the same thing as saying g of f of negative 1. Well, let's figure out what uh, negative 1 is, right? f of negative 1. So you see f of x right here. Let's figure out what f of negative 1 is. 1 over negative 1 squared plus 5. 1 over 1 plus 5, that's equal to 1 over 6. Correct? So we have 1 over 6. Now, that's my new value that I'm going to plug into my g of x function. So, huh? What? <laughs> Compositions of functions. Correct. You guys used to complain about having math being about numbers, and then we throw in then we throw in num letters to help you out, and then you complain there's too many letters in that math. <sighs> so, g. So now g times one over six, you plug in one over six, so you do one minus one over six. Ladies and gentlemen, you should know how to simplify this. Let's rewrite the number two with a denominator of six. So I can multiply the numerator and the denominator by six over six. I can rewrite that as 12 over 6 minus 1 over 6. Do you guys agree with me that 2 is the same thing as 12 over 6? Yes, but now I can subtract because I have common denominators. Yes? So this function, g of f of negative 1, or g of f of negative 1, b is the same thing, or g of f of negative 1 is the same thing as g of f of negative 1. Well, what's f of negative 1? Well, I just plugged negative 1. In that. How do we evaluate functions? You just plug negative 1 in for x, right? And therefore, f of negative 1 equals 1 6. So therefore, I replaced f of negative 1 with 1 6. So therefore, I'm just doing g of 1 6. So now I'm just plugging 1 6 in for x. And I end up getting 11 over 6 is my final answer. And since we're finding a, domain, a value, we're not finding a domain, so that's OK.